Hi, this is Sean at Bill K Corvettes and Classics, and this is the 1949 DeSoto long wheelbase with fluid drive. This beauty came to us as part of a two car trade along with a 1965 Bentley SE. Um, the Bentley has since been sold, but uh, the DeSoto remains and she is magnificent. We'll come on in and give you a give you a better tour of her. The DeSoto, as we say, has fluid drive, which is uh, sort of sort of means that it has both an automatic and a manual transmission. When uh, when Chrysler and DeSoto uh, were marketing this vehicle, they they marketed it as a manual transmission for the gentlemen and an automatic for the ladies so really you kind of start off with using the, the the clutch and you'll finish off without it's they kind of call it a safety clutch it's kind of interesting um, this vehicle was believed to have been an ambulance at one time hence we can kind of see that it does have a working uh, spotlight sure the vehicles nearly you know what 70 years old so it's not quite as bright as it used to be but I'm sure that can be changed the vehicle comes fairly well well upholstered I'm sure this is not the original upholstery but it is pretty darn soft and it's in great condition um, it's got seating for probably seven to eight people um, I'll open the doors here so we get a better look at that even the uh, you just there there are a lot of really neat points of of interest on the vehicle right into the the inlay on the on the horn and into the instrument cluster very really very very neat um, I guess the horn won't operate unless the car is on but it's got a it's got a pretty loud horn and even here we have suicide doors which is pretty neat now here we have jump seats this is one of the neat things that I that I really that I really like because I think that uh, we, we kind of think that Chrysler and their town and country had a really neat innovation with their stow and go seating well DeSoto had that wrapped up back in the 40s and here this uh, this back seat is as spacious as in, as in as in comfy as it is in your living room it is really comfortable it's really pretty crazy no no uh, no car would be complete without ashtrays seems like every every four feet or so one on each side handles to help you get in and out of the car there's a lot of really great appointment in this vehicle wood trim chrome very nice very nice window accents as well we'll come around the outside the outside of the vehicle nice that our sunny day here has allowed us to really represent the chrome on the vehicle here we'll go and have a look at the trunk trunk space in here is pretty humongous as we said this was as we were told was believed to have been an ambulance at one point and if that were the case gurneys would have been loaded here through the through the trunk there they would have removed the back seat taken out one of the jump seats and the front passenger seat and uh, and when they had gotten to the hospital they would have been able to have removed the gurney 
which would have just simply flowed through to go right up through to the front seat or to the front dashboard area this pillar right here would open would slide out with the door to just uh, to ease uh, to ease getting the gurney out while we're here another another fine feature is this footrest that the that is here in place so this could even be moved backwards if you don't want to use it but again if you want to enjoy your driving this daisy moment you can sit back here and or you can put the kids back here and the driver is way up there this is this is really a humongous vehicle it's 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 believed to be nearly 19 feet long longer than probably your your conventional suburban this is just enormous really a fun fun vehicle what we'll do now is we'll go up to have a look under the hood as it is a vehicle with such age she does have some scratches in the paint you know we can't we certainly can't deny that paint job on this car would do would do some nice touches for it would also like to bring to note this really beautiful emblem on the hood this is this is these are just things that you don't see anymore on cars it's just something that I appreciate very much Here inside is our flathead V6. One of the really nice things that I've learned from doing some reading on these cars is that part of the reasons why these vehicles are still so functional is that it was fairly common for vehicles to be made with the same materials that they, that they used for the engine blocks and the cylinders to be made out of the same metals. So it's, it's probably likely that they use cast iron for both the cylinders and the, and the block. So these metals expand and contract at the same rate. So they, so they don't really wear like they do in conventional automobiles. That being said, in modern cars, they may use an aluminum block and then use a different kind of metal for the cylinders so they wear at different rates so at different temperatures with different kinds of fuel that might be used and at different compression ratios what ultimately happens is these things break down well that's called designed obsolescence which means that these auto manufacturers are designing these vehicles so that after a number of years you must replace it it kind of stinks. No, it really does stink. And now the last thing, of course, is to start the car up. This is something that just boggles my mind as you know, we, we talk about such modern advancements that we've made in, in automotive technology is that it is like push button ignition. Well, check this out. Right down here, I'm gonna turn this key. I'm gonna put my foot on the clutch. We had push button ignition in 1949. It's really not such a new thing. That's pretty wild.
now trying to hold the video camera and try to drive a car it's not always the easiest or safest thing to do that's reverse here's our horn and that's not Oh, that was me. That's time back to reverse. Come on, car. Now remember. She doesn't have power steering, so it takes a little getting used to, let alone one-handed. Once they get moving, not so bad. Goodness. Naturally my boss wants it parked over next in front of this in front of this Chrysler. But I want to thank you for uh, watching this very long video and uh, hopefully you'll consider the DeSoto and uh, I'll be looking forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks for your time. And uh, thanks for considering Bill K. Corvettes and Classics. Have a great day.